Hello, I'm going to show you how to make slash commands on Discord Pi version 2. Don't overthink it like I did. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Literally, all you need to do is at bot dot hybrid command. That That's all you need. So now let's just create a simple function. Let's do async def ping. We want it to take in context. We want that we want to type cast content into commands.context. It basically ensures that we're passing in a context variable. It's I'm pretty sure it's good code. I, I don't know. So await context send pong. So I'm going to run my Python Discord bot command. So I'm going to type in ping. You might, you might have already seen it. It it doesn't show here. Look at this await bot tree dot sync. There's two ways that things sync up, either globally or locally, locally to a server. When I refresh this Discord instance, we're gonna start seeing the show up. So now when I do slash, I'm gonna pull up YouTube tutorial and I see ping. So don't trust the actual Discord app. It'll take way too long. Alternatively, if you don't want your bot to sync up every single time it runs, you could have a sync command. So I'm going to have a bot.hybrid command and do async def sync. And then we're going to pass in context. We're also going to delete that because we don't need it. We're going to do await bot.tree dot sync and then that'll that'll do that if you want it to straight up force a sync to this server itself the discord command knows that knows what guild you're passing this in so you're going to do guild equals context dot guild it basically ensures that this guild is going to be synced up with whatever server you pass that command in so i'm going to stop running this Keep in mind, look at this. We don't have sync even here. Oh, wait. We need this to print out something, don't we? So, oh, wait. Um, no, it's not going to be print. Context. That's end syncing. I've got a syncing feeling this is going to work. So, if I use sync, it's going to say syncing, right? And notice, it doesn't show up when I do YouTube tutorial. But when I refresh the page... And I got a notification. I'm cool. All right. Now when I do this again, I am a fraud. All right. So it looks like it's just better to do it with the sync itself. You don't need to pass in a certain guild. Because when I did that, it worked. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to have a command called your mom. So it's connected to Discord. It's cool. But notice nothing is synced up. What I need to do is run the sync command, and I'm going to refresh my page. So now, after this application command gets sent to the tree, it should show up. Your mom, there it is. That is the simplest way to get slash commands working for Discord Pi to version 2. Um, Now that the video is finished, I want to say, what a flipping terrible experience after going through tutorial after tutorial on how to get this working you'd think there'd be a very simple way to do this dude whoever made discord whoever made the documentation for discord pie had no idea oh my goodness um but hopefully this clears the air holy shit also best practices you wanna for your bot.run os get nv make sure you're importing this i don't i don't even think i need that make sure you're importing these and then you want a dot environment folder or file i apologize in this file is where you want to define what your discord token is so when your bot actually takes the discord token it'll get it from the 
environment variable file. That's really important that it's just good practices all around. Other quick tips, when you're on the Discord developer portal, you go to OAuth2 URL generator, you click the bot, and you want to give it the admin perms if you're testing. If you're just making it on your server, it's pretty much what you want. And then when you press copy, that's how you put it in your Discord. You just paste that link and then you follow the instructions. That's it. See you.